Uh, in this video, we're going to we're going to work on the example of creating the car data type in Haskell. But what I'm going to do now is uh, just for the sake of working on this simple, simple, simple type, but just making it a little bit non-trivial by just manipulating some of the some of the type some of the type variables. So what I'm going to do now is um, in the previous video, we had this. Uh, we had this car type created where uh, I have data car of ABC equals to car, where I had uh, three fields, company, model, and year, which had associated with them these type variables A, B, and C. Now what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to work on the same example. I'm just going to work on the same example, but uh, the only change, the only change I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to redefine. I'm just going to redefine my type. So let's have data data car car a b c and um, let's do this let's have a value constructor car and my three fields what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to, i'm going to keep company as it is i'm just going to say company 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 that has a field my first field is company that has uh, that has the type variable c associated with it and then I'm going to have my second field model model okay and um, let's just uh, just let's just say for the fun of it uh, let's have BA associated with it and then finally I'm going to have my third field year that was going to have the type variable let's say in this case uh, again just for fun and let's just make this AC AC okay now again what does this mean here so first thing I usually know I can I can infer I can infer the type signatures here. So if I look at company, if I look at company, my first field, company has a type signature that takes in that takes in some value of type car A P C and it gives me back as some value of type of type C. Okay, that's easy. Then let's look at the second field model. If I look at my field model, it takes in some value of type car A, B, C, and it gives me back some value of type of type B, A. Okay. And finally, if I look at my year, if I look at my year, it has a type signature that takes in some value of type car A, B, and C. So this is my year that I'm just looking at right now, and it gives me back some value of type A, C. Okay. Now the question is this: I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out what is the kind of A, what is the kind of B, and what is the kind of C. Okay. All I know is that car is a type constructor that takes in something followed by a something followed by a something, giving me back a concrete type again okay. so with that idea while I know just by looking at these type signatures looking at these three type signatures so these are my type signatures and by looking at these three type signatures <coughs> I know that the kind of C is going to be a concrete type this is going it's going to be a concrete type if C is going to be a concrete type, if C is going to be a concrete type, if C is a concrete type that's already inferred from here, I know that the type of A, the type of A, sorry, what I mean is the kind of A. The kind of A is that it takes in, it takes in star and gives you back, gives you back a star. So A is acting as a type constructor. A is acting as a type constructor that takes in a concrete type it takes in a concrete type and gives it back gives it back a concrete type as an output so this is what a is if this is what the kind for a is okay now what's the kind for b going to be the kind for b is it takes in it takes in something which happens to be represented by my type variable a but this a the kind of a the kind of a is a star followed by a star so what is the kind for B going to be? So if I just draw B at this point here, a B in this case is something that takes in, that takes in this, uh, in this case, this A, 
and this A has a kind of star followed by a star. Okay, and eventually it gives you back a concrete, a concrete type. Okay, so the idea that I've used here is that I know that within my type signatures, within my type signatures, each one of these entities must be a concrete type. Each one of these entities must be a concrete type. Okay. All of these entities must be a concrete type. Now, using that idea, the first thing that I was easily able to deduce is that this type variable C must be this concrete type star right there. And because C has a kind of star, I was able to use that knowledge to infer the kind for A. Once we got the kind for A, I was able to use that knowledge to infer the kind for B. And once I got the kind for B, I'm now in the position to, to, to complete this by saying that the kind for car, the kind for car is, it takes in an A, and I know that the, I know that the kind signature for A is uh, a star followed by a star, that's for A. Okay, this entire piece, this entire piece over here is my, is, is, is A here. Followed by, followed by B, the kind for B is this piece, right here. The kind for B is, is this entire piece here. This entire piece over here is a kind, is a kind for B. Finally, the kind for C is just, is just a concrete type. So, what the, what's, what does, what does my type constructor car tell me? It tells me that it needs a, it needs some a which has a kind of this 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 piece here. It needs a second a second parameter which has a kind of this of this entire piece as represented by b. It needs a third parameter which has this kind of star, eventually giving back a concrete a concrete type. Okay, let's just try this out. Let's just try this out in Haskell. So uh, opening up my shell here, I'm just going to revisit my earlier definition of my car. But now I'm going to just change this. I'm just going to change this. And so calling this A, let's make this C. Let's make model as the A. And let's make the year as A, C. And let's see what happens here. First, let's just try with the obvious. Let's just get the type signature for my car. Okay, so if I look at my, if I look at my value constructor car here, and if I see its type signature, I can see that it takes in, it takes in some value of type C followed by some value of type BA, which is right there, followed by some value of type AC, which is this piece over here, giving you back as an output some value of type car ABC. Now again, remember, we're still in the type constructor. This is, the, this is, this is, if you look at this entire, this entire piece that I've highlighted here, is basically my type signature. And because this is my type signature here, each one of these entities over here has a concrete type. It has a concrete type here. So if I do a kind, if I do a kind for my car now, I can see, I can see that the kind for car here is that uh, I have my, I have my A followed by, followed by my, my, my B here followed by C giving you back a concrete a concrete 